Next step is to get Larry into the scene in Unity. Right click, import new asset, hunt down Larry. Oh, Larry's right there. That wasn't much of a hunt. You have to make it more difficult for us to find you, Larry. Drag Larry off into the hierarchy. Larry looks a little tiny. Let's inspect Larry a little bit. Off to the right side in the inspector, you can increase Larry's size by going under modeling. Scale factor. Let's scale Larry up 20 times its normal size. Make sure you click on apply. Ah, Larry's big. Larry always had a big ego. I'm going to push Larry that way. I'm also going to rotate Larry to face my camera. I could rotate the camera around. I have a scene set up that we'll investigate a little later. So there's Larry. Larry needs a shader. So right click, create new material. And I'll apply that new Larry material to Larry. Here you can import some type of other texture. Go and just apply. Let's see. How should Larry be? Is Larry a little pinkish today? Purplish today, Larry? I prefer rock, but it's a different tutorial, different day. Okay, with well, Larry selected, there's a way to go between Larry's blend shapes by going under the blend shapes. And we go make Larry sad. We'll make Larry happy though. Larry happy. And that's setting a blend shape. And the next part is how to make Larry slowly become happy. And that is through animation. I'm going to create a timeline for Larry by clicking on Larry, going under Assets, Create Timeline. Call it Larry Time. Double clicking on Larry Time, clicking on Larry again, and clicking on Create. And this one will be a playable timeline. So Larry Timeline Playable seems like a decent name for it. I'll click on Save. Going to drag this window to make it a floating palette. I'm going to hit the record button, which Larry is, making sure I see under my blend shape. I want to animate Larry becoming happy. I'll click on the record button. And now that's recording. At this frame, zero is a good setting. And let's say across uh, four seconds. Larry has his moment of Zen, of happiness. Let me go back and pull it down, down to zero and from zero to there. The reason why I had to go back, I had to make a slight toggle into face up here. Otherwise, happiness wouldn't have been recorded going from neutral there. To make Larry go back to normal, let's say Larry's happy for a few seconds and I'll just drag it like this to create this keyframe and now i'll go a few seconds later let's say here and with larry selected make larry go back to normal and that's our animation i'll stop recording our animation like this i'll go back here and i'll play it out larry becomes happy stays happy and then someone's looking, and then Larry's back to normal again. So you can watch the keys go. And I'll hit play. And there's Larry becoming happy. Larry's happy. Wait, someone's seen you, Larry. And that's the end of our timeline. To edit the keys so Larry doesn't go from normal to smile to normal again. Let's say we just want to leave a smile on Larry's face. Within the assets, you could double click to open up Larry's playable timeline. I'm going to drag that again off into its own window, making sure Larry's selected. This way you could scrub through the timeline. Double click the key track, which opens up the animation. 
Here you can space apart the animation keys by selecting them with marquee selection and drag them around. You can also just delete the keys by selecting any of the keys with marquee selection and pressing the delete key on the keyboard. You can also select keys and adjust the type of tangent, which is the ins and outs, linear, constant, free, weighted, and this will give ease ins, ease outs, and different looks. If you want Larry to smile across a longer amount of time, you can select those keys and just drag them over. Now it takes three seconds for Larry to smile. Like that. Advantage of using timelines and playables, these can be scripted. And so you could call up the timeline playable and with the interaction happening, Larry could smile, say some lines, do whatever emotions that it needs to do. And also use the playables to group them together to create a sequence of animations.